Welcome to another episode of Watch Once Over. My name is Biggie. Today we're going to be looking at this beautiful Seiko GMT. This is a Seiko 5, and this is the orange edition. And this is SSK005 with a suggested retail price of $475. Now, I think this is the one that I want to obtain for myself. And of course, I'm going to purchase it at ArizonaFineTime.com, where you get the best prices and the best service. And these guys have all the colorways of these in stock ready to ship out. So get those guys a call if you're interested in this. Now, I looked at the black yesterday, but this one, I thought it was going to be uh, too close to my uh, Devil Diver. But getting it in hand, it's a total different color. This one is more of a burnt orange color which is beautiful, and you get that applied Seiko sign, gold gilt hands on here, gold printing for the GMT, orange background, orange rehaul, black, GMT hand with loom, and a Cyclops with a white date wheel with black printing. Now, these, these are all the same uh, mechanically, you get a friction fit bezel, and then you get a push pull crown with 100 meters of water resistant. You pull it out to extremity, it hacks the watch. The watch hand winds in the first position, and then in the second position, clockwise moves the GMT, which is not coupled to the date wheel, and then counterclockwise moves the date wheel. So, it's very simple, straightforward, easy to use. Beautiful hose case on this one. Excellently knurled crown that's really protected right there at the four o'clock position. And you have this real nice damping on this uh, on this bezel along with extremely bright loomy bright. Now this one, as you can see, this one has gilt hands. This one has the gold gilt hands, you see that? With the sunburst orange dial. I really like that dial. It pops. And then the bezel, as you can see, goes from black to gray. Take a look at that one right there. And that's how the bezel looks when it catches the light in a certain light. You see how it all looks black? And now the bottom half of the southern half of the GMT looks gray now. But with that orange, uh, that orange uh, writing on here, it really, really pops. Look at that. I have to say I like this one the most and it has kind of a grayish green tint to the bottom half at certain times and the gold gilt hands just set it off then you have a black GMT hand I, I think this is the best uh, bargain for a, a GMT watch in the industry right now you get the uh, 41 hours of power reserve, 3 hertz movement, display back, hardlex black, hardlex front, push pull crown, 100 meters of hermeticity, beautiful Jubilee style bracelet, fold over press clasp, twin trigger deployant, and it is signed Seiko on there. And this watch just truly punches above its weight so that's with all those attributes i believe this is going to be my next um uh, gmt watch uh, i put in my collection now i'm going to light this up for you guys and call up azfinetime.com to order one of these up because they are in stock now ready to ship that's the transitional loom that's your full dark shot. Lumi Bright does last all night. You don't have to worry about this fading. And it still has decent water resistance for if you want to go uh, swimming or whatnot, whatever you want to do. And as for what I was saying, the color with my Devil Diver 
is being more of a pastel type bright orange and the Seiko is more of a metallic orange. So I think these two guys can live together as friends. One's a diver, one's a GMT. But this is enough difference. You see that burnt orange starburst sunburst finish come out? And how the Boulevard is more of a pastel matte color. It doesn't have any um, sunburst to it. I, I, I think this is going to be a winner, winner, chicken dinner. And um, that's what it looks like on my wrist, which is 7.25 inches. It looks wonderful. This is a beautiful watch. So... I'll do some measurements on here just in case you didn't catch it on the other video. 42 millimeter case, 13.6 millimeters thick, and then the lug to lug is going to be a scant 45. And since the bracelet pulls straight down, uh, that's what it is. Nice bracelet. And, oh, and another thing I didn't mention about this uh, watch, since this is the SKX case, you can get several different um, bracelets for this. Some Uncle Seiko or Straps Code. It's, it's going to be awesome to be able to tinker with these two because with this case, there's so many millions of the SKS 007s out there. You can just have a plethora of things you can do with these. So that's the watch once over for today. Please subscribe. Check out Arizona Fine Dime. Findtime.com, and I'll leave the link in the description. God bless. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Thanks.